Hello guys, welcome back to Pow Game Cubing. So today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to do square one parody. Now on other cubes like 4x4, 5x5 plus cubes, there is um, parody which is when either one uh, edge is flipped or two edges are across from each other that need to be swapped or when one edge isn't solved so you just need to do a parity algorithm to flip some of the inner edges in that edge. But this is going to be over square one parity. Now a lot of people just stop once they see that square one has parity because the algorithm is really long. Now today I'm going to show you guys a new method to do square one parity without an algorithm and it is super easy and quick to memorize so let's hop into it. Solving your square one and as you can see my white layer on uh, the bottom is all solved and my yellow layer on the top is all solved. Then you um, know that you have your uh, bottom and top layer solved. Now you just need to solve each of the um, layers, uh, like each of the corners and then each of the edges. So first I would need to solve each of the corners and then I can individually permute all of the edges. But to recognize parity, this is how you do it. So on the top, we have an H perm. Now the H perm is a legal uh, PLL, which would mean that it um, is possible on three by three. So I have my three by three here, and as you can see on the top, it looks exactly the same. So each of the sides on the top look the same. So you don't need to worry about the top. So I can just do my H perm like that. And um, that is how it is on a three by three. Now if we look at the bottom, this is how you can tell if there is parity. So the way you can tell it is if on 3x3 three three, that is not an official PLL. So I can tell this is parity because this looks like an R perm sort of from here. Or I have the pair right there and there. And then on this side it kind of looks like an A perm. And I can tell that because it looks exactly the same as this on a 4x4. Four four. And this is definitely parity on 4x4. Four so the way I would do this on a 4x4 four four is I just do the parity, uh, the edge flip um, algorithm, then I would do uh, my JA perm, and that is um, how you do a parity algorithm on a 4x4 four four using the slice moves like that. But for square one, it's um, different because you can't use like those slice moves. So to recognize parity, um, you need to find if that is parity on a 3x3 three three, and if that's like an actual parity. So on the bottom is, is good, but on the top it is wrong. Now if the bottom and the top are both good, then it's both good. If the bottom is wrong and the top is wrong, then they're also both uh, legal because two uh, bad ones make one good one. So if, for example, these two were both wrong, then um, then you could just move on to the next step. But since one is wrong and the other is right, we need to do parity. So the way you do parity is basically reverse how you got it into cube shape. So holding the top like this and the bottom on the bottom, you don't need to memorize this algorithm. You just need to reverse how you got it into cube shape. So it would be like this. You do one slice and then the bottom and top look like that then what you need to do is uh, make there be the two edges um, opposite from each other on the top and the bottom like that and as you can see it should look like this and then what you need to do is you need to um, pair uh, these two um, edges uh, with that one so this edge would pair up here and then this would pair down here so I can go like that and now as you can see I have the four and I have the other four so now what you need to do is you have that four right there and then you have that four right there 
so you just need to do one slice move and then you can just put it back into cube shape and reverse how you did it at the beginning. Now if you guys haven't seen Cube Master's tutorial on uh, how to solve a square one, that is what I'm basing it off. And if you guys really want a tutorial from me, make sure to put it down in the comments section below so I can know. But now, as you can see, I don't have um, parity because the top is an illegal parity for uh, 3 by 3 and the bottom is also an, an illegal parity for 3 by 3 so since they're both bad, they cancel each other out. So now, once your parity is solved, you can solve it like you normally would with the square one using whichever method you use and this is a very simple and easy way to fix parity um it is very easy to memorize because you just reverse your cube shape and it is very easy to like execute also because it's um simple to understand and how you reverse your cube shape like to do it like quickly you can just go like this and this is like not super quick but like it is uh like a quicker version of it and then it just um automatically uh does the parody for it and then like the nice part about this method is you don't need to do any algorithms for it you just need to do the parody and it is very easy to do this parody so that's why i like doing this method if you guys have any questions or comments make sure to put it down in the comment section below also if you want me to come out with a square one tutorial sooner than later make sure to also put that in the comments below hey guys thank you for watching this video i hope this helped you learn how to solve a square one using this parody algorithm that most people don't know but hopefully after this video more people will be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to check out our other content. Also comment if you want me to come out with a more advanced tutorial on how to solve a square one.